After 20 years of planning, the Kunsthaus Zurich was able to realize an elegant extension of its existing premises. This new building in which we are now was designed by Sir David Chipperfield and makes us the largest museum in Switzerland. The great thing is that this building is green, it's sustainable, it's ecological. It consists of 98% recycled concrete. It employs geothermic and photovoltaic installations. And what is more, it's not only a classical, beautiful temple for images, but it's a multifunctional building. It's a building that offers us a myriad of possibilities for the future. In this incredibly vivid and dynamic history that spans more than 100 years, the Kunsthaus Zurich has really profiled itself as a Kunsthalle with major exhibitions by experimental curators like Harald Seemann and Vichy Kuriger. But first and foremost, it is of course a museum, a Musée de Beaux-Arts, a museum of fine or beautiful arts with collections that go from the Middle Ages over the modern till the present, till the contemporary. And the new building has enabled us to show more of those collections and to welcome even more private collections that now have a public character. Like the collection of Hubert Loser, which focuses on American minimal and abstract expressionism. Equally incredible is the collection of Gabriele and Werner Merzbacher that ranges from Kandinsky and Matisse to Bridget Riley and Pippi Lotte Rist. And that is in baseline a celebration and ode to color, to festive joy. What is remarkable is that Werner Merzbacher, who was a Jewish child refugee who came to Switzerland, has built up this collection in order to celebrate life after the war. On the other side of the historical spectrum is the collection of the Foundation Emil Burle, an incredible collection of masterpieces of Impressionist art and French painting that also ask us painful questions about the involvement of Switzerland in the Second World War beauty versus conflict. In an entirely different way, the impact of war can also be felt in one of the collections that we can in full glory present here in the Chipperfield building, the Dada collection of the Kunsthaus Zurich. Dada originated in Zurich and its rebellious spirit can be felt up to today, also in our collection of contemporary art, where we have positions ranging from Judith Bernstein and Sonia Sikula and Urs Fischer. As a freshly appointed director, my team and I would like the museum to be both. Both a palace of images where people admire and cherish tradition, but also a parliament of ideas where the contemporary is being discussed. We would look forward to making the museum a center of curiosity that asks questions, questions about art, but also questions about the state of the world today. We also believe that the borders between disciplines are useless and that we should collaborate with partners from music, theater, to address the big questions of our time, like how do we deal with social sustainability next to ecological sustainability. We think of how with artists we can enliven public space, how the museum can go beyond its own physical borders and enter a square, enliven it literally or figuratively with new lights and new ideas like Pipilotti Rist did here next to the Kunsthaus.